Today we're driving the 2023 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. Let's start it up, we'll walk you around it, and we'll talk about what it's been like to live with this week. So I drove this about a year and a half ago at the launch event out in Utah. We took it off road, we towed with it, and we just drove it on some regular roads. And I was really impressed with the way this thing drives and the way it looks and its road manners and interior quality. I think it's a really solid alternative to options like the Toyota Tacoma, which is getting pretty old in the tooth and is about to be replaced here soon, or maybe even the Ford Ranger, which is kind of the same story, again, about to be replaced soon. Let's see if this Frontier still holds up today. Um, we've got a 3.8 liter naturally aspirated V6. That's made into a nine speed automatic transmission. This Frontier is four wheel drive. So we have a two speed transfer case, two wheel drive, four high, four low, off road modes, and a locking rear differential in this Pro 4X. Starting price on this is around $38,000 as tested with the premium convenience and technology packages. This is about 46 grand fully loaded. So uh, nice looking truck. I like the color. I like these faux beadlock wheels. It looks really sharp. It's a nice size too. It's not too big. I believe this can tow in four wheel drive form about 6,250 pounds. We have nice chunky hand cook off-road oriented highway all terrains. Inside and out, this Nissan Frontier has a really nice blend of modern and old school appearance, features. It's still got lots of physical controls and buttons, but it has kind of all the tech you'd want in your modern day 2022 truck. We've got a Fender audio system, wireless Apple CarPlay, nice looking camera system that shows us views all the way around. Good for off-roading as well. We've got a heated steering wheel, heated seats, wireless phone charging, pretty attractive looking interior too, like some of these orange accents. I mean, overall, this is a really pretty easy truck to live with. Analog gauges for your speed and tack, and a lot of center gauges here showing you various information, tire pressure, off-road status, inclinometers, stuff like that, all very cool. This Frontier has a couple of interesting accessories, this wind slash bug deflector, these removable steps right here, and kind of what looks like a bit of a slider for off-roading. Not sure if that is chassis mounted or not. And then we've got this kind of roll hoop here in the truck bed, that looks pretty sharp. This also has spray-in bed liner, lots of nice tie-down points, I mean, this is a pretty usable package here. Nice 120 volt, 400 watt outlet right there. Bed lighting. Good amount of ground clearance. You can see those Bilstein dampers underneath too. This thing rides really well. The suspension tuning here is expertly done. That's one of the things that I liked about this Frontier the most, especially compared to a lot of the competition, which can be a bit stiff and bouncy. This rides like it has really high quality suspension, and it does. This comes in crew cab configuration. We did drive the base model last year, and uh, so it'll be interesting to kind of compare this versus that. These seats fold down. You've got your tire jack right down there, and a few tools. The seat bases fold up and you've got some storage underneath there too. They lock in place, which is nice. Nice grab handle. These steps do make it a little bit easier to get up in here, but they're not entirely necessary. Floor's a little bit higher in here, kind of like the Toyota Tacoma, but I'm comfortable enough. Five foot ten. There's kind of a a hump up here at the headliner, but in front of that, there's not a lot of headroom. So you're gonna to wanna to lean back as much as you can to kind of get settled in this frontier. Nice looking interior. I love that this has just a bunch of physical buttons. Nissan's doing such a good job with that. They're not going all iPad center infotainment display on us, and I appreciate it. This just feels like a nice modern truck.
It doesn't have the most fuel efficient powertrain, unfortunately. Rated for 17 miles to the gallon in the city and I believe 22 on the highway. Yep, 19 miles to the gallon combined. Let's pop the hood, take a look at this 3.8 liter V6. Pretty quiet engine, 310 horsepower, 281 pound feet of torque. Nice approach, ground clearance, departure angles. You've got a little step right down here that pops out easily. This is one of the few running board steps that has removable steps that I've seen. That's pretty neat, especially for off-roading. You don't want to catch these on a rock or get hung up on them. Let's briefly go over some of the interior here, but it's all pretty straightforward. This is one of those trucks that you can just get into immediately, know where everything is, know how to use it all, plug in your phone, and you're good to go. We have a USB Type A and Type C port, heated steering wheel. I mean, it's all here. We've done a pretty extensive walk around. There's a tow mode here, physical controls for just about everything. I love it. Okay, let's take this for a drive. Good visibility too. Reverse camera is a little bit distorted and wide angle, but it's okay, you can see what you need to. Wireless CarPlay has worked pretty well this week, no complaints there. And the rest of this infotainment is pretty basic. No different from a lot of other Nissan vehicles. I really like the drivability of this Frontier. It's nicely tuned at low speed. You can smoothly start off on this. Sometimes I've noticed these nine-speed automatics, initial throttle tip-in can be a bit aggressive. The Nissan's done a nice job tuning this. Ride quality is just excellent. It's so smooth over bumps. Right now, things are especially rocky and nasty and bumpy here in Michigan with all the potholes. We've got a lot of freeze-thaw cycles going on right now, so it's nice to have a truck with good suspension. Really smooth shifts from this nine speed. Tow haul mode can kind of act as a bit of a sport mode. A little downshift into corners. Oh boy, a little slippery there. Like I said earlier, a good amount of power. Steering's on the heavier side. That is kind of one of my only complaints about this Frontier. And you do need to rev this engine out pretty heavily to get some acceleration out of it. But if you're not afraid of burying your foot deep into the accelerator, it's got plenty of acceleration. Pretty quiet, smooth on the highway, cruising at about 1700 RPM at 70 miles an hour. This nine speed auto and ninth gear. We have adaptive cruise control. All of those buttons and switches are really easy to use and operate. Change your following distance at a moment's notice. Ride is nice on the highway. You can eat up some miles in this Nissan Frontier, no problem.
brake pedal feels about like it does in every truck in this category. Not a ton of bite, but maybe not as squishy as something like what's in the uh, Tacoma. Heated steering wheel is nice and toasty. Not terribly cold today, about 47 degrees Fahrenheit. These handcooks seem to be struggling a little bit in the wet here. So maybe not the best rain traction here with these tires. Something like that ends up being a problem. You can always swap out tires, but kind of disappointed to see that performance today from the factory tire. Otherwise, I really like the way this thing drives. Could do with a little bit more low down torque, but I mean, that's kind of the nature of these naturally aspirated V6s. They love to rev. You need to get them into those high RPMs, get any power out of them. And uh, this should be a pretty, pretty stout engine in the long term. Paired with this nine speed, Drivability is awesome. The tuning here is fantastic. I don't really have a lot of complaints about the way this Frontier drives. The only thing I would mention is steering is on the heavier side, but it's not that bad. You get used to it. It kind of feels nice and solid. It's still a hydraulic rack, which is awesome. Excellent road manners here. Really nice blend of comfort, convenience, tech, old school usability, and just kind of a rugged feel zero shakes, zero rattles in this Frontier. This just feels really, really solid on the road. And I think this would be a fantastic truck to live with on a regular basis. I'm very impressed with what Nissan has done here. It might be a nice vehicle and a nice platform to go forward with to just kind of give truck buyers what they want, which is something simple, functional, usable, and uh, just gets the job done. So let's go and test out the suspension at lower speed over some bumps on our dirt muddy road section here and uh, we'll see how this handles in two-wheel drive in the mud. Yeah, the ride quality from these Pilsteins is just awesome, especially over some pretty big bumps. the suspension just soaks it all up beautifully. stay out of the mud today. We've had our fun in one of these off-road and it was incredibly capable. Impressively so. All right, guys, that'll be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about this 2023 Nissan Frontier. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, hopefully you enjoyed this updated drive on this truck. Still, I think this thing will hold its own for quite a while. I like its no-nonsense, bare-bones approach. It just gets the job done. Okay, that's it.
even has your old school Nissan key.